Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Sunday, January 9, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Denver Nuggets vs Oklahoma City Thunder. Denver has put together a patchwork lineup on most nights, at times using three players on 10-day contracts to get through a game. In addition to COVID-related concerns, the Nuggets have been playing without much of their core all season. Jamal Murray has yet to play, and Michael Porter Jr. is out for the year with a back injury he suffered two months ago. They have struggled to find consistent scoring off their bench. They won't need it against a terrible Thunder team, but they will get exposed facing the Titans of the Western Conference. The Nuggets ended up with egg on their face in their last road trip to Oklahoma City. They couldn't get anything going offensively, and the Thunder absolutely destroyed them on the boards. I know it's a long season, but there are some games that just stick in your gut emotionally for such a bad performance. That had to be one of those games for the Nuggets. Nikola Jokic isn't going to get held to only 13 points in the rematch. He's going to be an offensive force in this game and wreak havoc not just on the scoreboard, but he's going to get the offensive juices flowing for the Nuggets by turning back into the ultimate facilitator. Jokic's greatest superpower on the court is getting his teammates involved. His game isn't merely about him scoring 26 plus points per game. And this feels like a bad time to pat the thunder on the back for their defensive prowess after they just got hammered for 135 points at home in a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Our first betting pick is Denver Nuggets minus 7. Once the scoreboard started blowing up, it was already over for Oklahoma City. Sure, they've shown some defensive improvements. But offense? No, that's not this team's song and dance. They're averaging only 99.7 points per game with a 41.2 shooting percentage. Good luck keeping pace with any NBA team with an offensive stat line like that one. It screams struggle bus from a mile away. However, Denver isn't scaring anyone offensively yet. They'll get their missing pieces back at some point in the season, but as of right now, this team is as vulnerable as ever. Oklahoma City knows that better than most considering they've already beaten them once this season. Our second betting pick is under the total. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Chicago Bulls vs Dallas Mavericks. As a team, the Mavs rank 6th in defensive rating, while holding opponents to 103.4 points per game, which ranks 3rd in the NBA. They have been mediocre on the offensive end, but much of that had to do with Luka Doncic and Tim Hardaway Jr. being away from the team for a chunk of time. Doncic is averaging a stellar 25 points, 8.8 dimes, and 8 rebounds a game this year. Luka is questionable to suit up for this home tilt with the Bulls, but early reports indicate he will play. The Mavs are missing the wrong pieces ahead of a matchup against one of the best teams in the NBA. Kristaps Porzingis won't be around to survey the paint area against Chicago's Nikola Vucevic. And with Luka Doncic listed as questionable, there's at least a possibility that the rest of the team could be left stranded to face one of the most lethal duos in the league right now in Demer Derrison and Zach Lavin. Dallas has definitely stepped things up defensively, but it won't be nearly enough to fend off multiple all-stars on the court together. The defense for Chicago has slipped a bit with guys being in and out of the lineup. They're still missing Alex Caruso on the court right now. But who needs defense when you're playing with the league's fourth best defensive efficiency rating? This Bulls team can sink buckets in their sleep. Speaking of sleep, I'd be willing to wager Mavs coach Jason Kidd won't get much of it ahead of this game. With Dallas's big two possibly on the shelf, this is a nightmare matchup on paper. Our first betting pick is Chicago Bulls to cover this spread. Doncic is listed as questionable to return from an injury on Sunday, while Porzingis is still stuck in the COVID protocols. They'll need all of the help they can get to keep pace with Chicago's explosive offense. Of course, that's assuming they don't have another defensive masterpiece up their sleeve. 
they're forcing an average of 18.7 turnovers in their last three games. So they've been great at ruining possessions and limiting buckets. They currently have the league's fifth best defensive efficiency rating. This Mavs defense is no joke. They just have to keep from cracking against the Bulls. If the floodgates open in this game, it'll be hard to match Chicago blow for blow offensively, even if Doncic is in the game. The strength of this Mavs team is defense, and it'll need to remain as such when hosting the number one ranked team in the East. Our second betting pick is under the total. San Antonio Spurs vs Brooklyn Nets. As a team, the Spurs rank 15th in offensive rating while mustering 110.9 points per game, 8th, on the season. The production has yet to lead to consistent victories for the Spurs who have fallen to 10th place in a loaded Western Conference. They were not expected to compete for the West Crown this year and are going through a rebuild on the fly. They have some quality players and if the losing continues, may decide to move them closer to the trade deadline. This Spurs team will be playing without two of their top three scorers heading into this game. The riding is already on the wall with the team already showing offensive slippage. They're averaging 44% shooting in their last three outings, and their offensive efficiency rating has plummeted all the way down to being the fifth worst in the league. Not having Keldon Johnson and Derek White on the floor is a problem for the Spurs. It'll continue to be a problem in a road trip against an angry Nets team looking to end their five-game home losing streak by making an example out of someone. They couldn't do it against the defending champion Bucks, but they could certainly do it against a Spurs team that has a tendency of giving up easy buckets. San Antonio doesn't have the offense to stand their ground against Brooklyn on Sunday, and they're allowing 47.6% shooting in their last three games defensively. Our first betting pick is Brooklyn Nets, minus 11. That 121-109 loss marked the fifth straight time the Nets have lost at home. So something obviously needs to change heading into Sunday's game against the Spurs. Defense has clearly been the issue for the team in recent outings. They've slipped back to bad habits and thinking their offense can get them out of trouble. Well, that won't always be the case with so many teams having a ton of offensive firepower these days. Brooklyn has allowed 120 points on average in their last three outings. It could prove to continue to be a problem, even against the shorthanded Spurs. They'll be facing a top 10 scoring defense averaging 46.5% shooting on the season. So there's clearly the potential for another defensive collapse for the Nets in this matchup. The team could be missing LaMarcus Aldridge as well, or it could just be a situation where his minutes are limited. He only played for 9 minutes in the loss to the Bucks on Friday. Our second betting pick is over the total. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.